I got the, the Palo Santo as usual. I got some weed. <laughs> <laughs> we lit. I'm literally living in a Wi-Fi microwave and I can't get a good connection. It's so annoying. <laughs> you are a conscious creator of reality. And if you don't do that consciously, you're the battery for someone else's magic. Like the masses are gradually being taken over by black magi. And the powers that are accessible to everybody on an individual level are being manifested through the masses masses church the mass population are being used to create a house of black magic mass media is being used to catalyze that if the pendulum like you were talking we were talking about the other day months is is swinging that way like there's got to be the opposite like it's off a little bit there's got to be the compensation and we've got to be the ones to pick up the compensation on the other side that's why when people like Blavatsky and Alistair Crowley, however the fuck you say his name, they were looking at a lot of uh, a lot of uh, esoteric uh, Eastern knowledge. And when Blav- Blavatsky, apparently she went around traveling the world, uh, just kind of like collecting all this esoteric knowledge. Apparently they didn't want to tell her, you know, all of it. And that's because these people, they could almost sense that it was going to be misused. That's why it's all verbal at the end of the day. Everything that's verbal is passed down, you know, from, from master, master to, you know, whatever student when he gets up to that level. And that's knowledge that they, they're never going to write that down because it's that powerful. It's that powerful and it's that dangerous. Everything that you read about in like the, uh, theosophical society and coming out of uh, Blavatsky and Crowley it's all just regurgitated bullshit it's just a it's just a misuse of good knowledge perverted yeah 